Hey guys, do you love to bake and do you love keto? I'm gonna show you how to make these delicious frosted cream cheese keto muffins. I only made six muffins, so double everything if you want to make 12. Start out with two ounces of cream cheese softened, sift in about an eighth a cup of Swerve confectioner sugar, and then beat on medium high until it's light and fluffy. In a separate bowl, I added two cups of almond flour, half a tablespoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Stir that all up until it's combined, and then I added a heaping eighth cup of Swerve brown sugar, and then just stir that in. I like to use my fingers to break up like the little chunks of brown sugar. And then in a separate bowl, I cracked an egg, whisked that guy up lightly, and then added heaping fourth a cup of sour cream, as well as an additional eighth a cup of sour cream. I zested about a half a lemon and added that, and then three tablespoons of butter melted and cooled. Whisk up those wet ingredients till they're nice and combined. I made a little well in the center of my dry ingredients and then poured the wet ingredients inside. You wanna just stir until it's combined, making sure not to over mix or over stir your batter. Then I'm gonna take a scoop of my flour mixture and fill it up in my muffin cup like halfway and then put a scoop of the cream cheese mixture on top. Next time I'll probably make more cream cheese mixture and use more of that and less of the flour mixture if that makes sense. Anyways, put another scoop of the flour mixture on top and make yourself a little sandwich with the cream cheese in the middle. I like to flatten mine a little bit and then bake in a 400 degree oven. Mine were done in 12 minutes. They are a little brown on top. My oven cooks pretty fast and as you can see, as I Said, I only made six muffins. Then for the frosting, take another two ounces of cream cheese, add another eighth a cup of sort of confectioner's sugar. I also added about a teaspoon of lemon juice and then beat that until it's light and fluffy. Then we're gonna plop that on top of our muffins. Next time I'll probably make more cream cheese icing because I just love that shit. <laughs> Anyways, these turned out delicious. I recommend if you enjoy baking and you are on a keto or low carb diet let me know if you have any questions below and enjoy do you love lasagna but you've gone keto or low carb and think it's just not an option anymore check out this recipe start with two zucchinis and slice them long ways about an eighth of an inch thick then place in a small sprayed casserole dish ground one pound of hamburger and add one tablespoon of your favorite italian seasoning mine is pizza pasta magic Add your favorite low carb marinara sauce and stir. You're gonna layer half of this meat sauce on top of the zucchini, then cover with shredded mozzarella cheese. Top with the rest of your sliced zucchini and then cover with the last half of your meat sauce. And again, cover with shredded mozzarella cheese. Y'all, this is so simple. Bake at 375 for 45 minutes and then let cool for 15 minutes. Let's make some keto taco pockets. This is great to do with leftover taco meat because you need the meat to be cooled. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper and line up your cheese slices like this so that they don't touch. You can add jalapeno, it's optional. Place the baking sheet in a 350 degree oven for about five minutes. You do not want the cheese to crisp, you just want it to melt. Then you're gonna cool the cheese before you add the cooled taco meat. Put one to two tablespoons of the cooled taco meat onto one side of the cheese and then you will lift the other piece of cheese and place it right on top of that taco meat. You will place this baking sheet back into the 350 degree oven for about another five minutes, just for the cheese to all melt on top. Let these fully cool to be able to pick them up like this. If you don't let them cool, then they're gonna flop all over the place. Go to thekellykitchen.com for more. Here's how you make keto strawberry shortcake ice cream. Mix together sugar-free vanilla pudding powder, almond flour, and melted butter. Then, mix together sugar-free strawberry jello powder, almond flour, and melted butter. Spread them both on parchment paper, place them on a baking sheet, then bake at 350 for 7 minutes. Crumble the vanilla and strawberry together using a plastic bag. Coat keto vanilla ice cream in your crumb- I never thought I'd say it, but here's how to make healthy chips. Start with one zucchini. Using a mandolin, slice the zucchini a quarter of an inch thick. Then place the slices onto a paper towel in a single layer. 
Place a paper towel on top of the slices, press, and remove as much moisture as possible. In a small bowl, whip one egg. In another bowl, combine breadcrumbs and paprika. Coat the sliced zucchinis in the egg mixture and then the breadcrumbs. Bake at 425 degrees for 10 minutes. Grab some marinara and you're ready to... Low carb lunch does not get any easier than this. I just took three slices of a smoked turkey breast. I cut half of an avocado and I used a Trader Joe's chili lime mayo. It's delicious, you guys. Just start layering. I'm going to start stuffing the inside of these turkey breasts with some tomato, some pickles, some onions. Roll it up and there you go. Those three pieces are less than 250 calories. Let's make these keto everything bagels. Pour five cups. Please. This is how to make some crazy delicious, low carb, keto, nutty crunch candy bars. So in a large bowl, we're gonna add some almonds, some macadamia nuts, and some sunflower seeds. Then we're gonna add those nuts and seeds to a bag, crush them up, and set the bag aside. Then in another large bowl, we're gonna add some sugar-free chocolate chips, some nut butter, and some coconut oil. We're gonna mix those up until they're nice and mixy like that. Melt them in the microwave until we have a chocolate sauce going on in our bowl like that. Add some zero carb sweetener, the nuts from earlier, Mix everything until we have a chocolate batter going on. Pour it into a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Freeze for a few hours and then cut them up into however many bars you want. And that is how to make some... One of my super easy, yummy carnivore staple meals is I just melt a tablespoon of butter in a hot pan and throw a half pound of ground beef in there, season with some salt, some complete seasoning, throw in a couple tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, a couple tablespoons of sour cream, and then just a dash of Worcestershire sauce and just let that all kind of meld together. Top it with a little bit of cream cheese. I love the onion and chive one and it kind of melts all down in there. And then you can just stir it all together and it is this amazing, yummy, fast, easy. So we usually stop. If you have a hard time eating healthy, I'm gonna show you my easy high protein meal prep for the next three days. For the sauce, I'm using this spinach and artichoke dip from Trader Joe's and adding that into a pan as well as some onion and garlic. And add in your tomatoes. I'm using canned tomatoes, but you can also use cherry tomatoes. As well as some mushrooms. And season it with some salt and pepper, red chili flakes, and olive oil. Bake this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. For the pasta, we're using this bonza chickpea pasta because it's high in protein. And then season your chicken with garlic salt, black pepper, smoked paprika, cayenne pepper, and basil. Cook in the air fryer for 15 minutes. Then combine the pasta and the sauce. Transfer it into your containers and add the chicken on top. Day 10 of 30 of 30 minute recipes, we are making bacon ranch chicken salad cucumber boats. To make them, first add some cooked chicken and spices to a hot oiled pan and cook until the spices are fragrant. Then transfer the chicken to a mixing bowl and mix in some sour cream, then shredded cheddar, crumbled bacon, and apple cider vinegar and mix again. Chill the chicken salad in the refrigerator while you prepare the cucumber boats by cutting the cucumbers in half lengthwise, removing the seeds with a spoon and blotting them dry with a paper towel. Spoon the chilled chicken salad into the cucumber boats, sprinkle on some flaky sea salt. I'm gonna show you how I make my carnivore protein bars. So I just start with some ground beef and I like to separate mine into a few different bowls so that I can make three different flavors of protein bars. Then I just season each bowl up differently um, with different seasoning blends, cheeses, condiments. You could add bacon or pepperoni or really anything you want to have some different flavor profiles going on. So in this one, I did some onion salt, some mayo, some shaved parmesan, Colby, black and tan seasoning, and then in this one, I did some crumbled blue cheese, mozzarella, Worcestershire sauce, garlic, salt, and a little lemon pepper. And this is kind of like my classic. So I did shredded cheddar, pepper jack, sugar-free ketchup, a little mustard, a little season all, and cracked pepper. Then I just use my hands to mix these up and form them into protein bar shapes. Then I just load them up into my air fryer and I just fry them at 400 degrees until they look done. You can, you know, keep an eye on them and see how you like yours. Mine took like 10 to 15 minutes and they came out looking like this. So they do actually look like a little protein bar. You can eat them hot or cold. You could smear butter or cream cheese on top. They're great for on the go. You can dip them in different things and that's what the middle looks like. And I dipped this one, the blue cheese one, in a little bit of like a horseradish cream sauce and they're just really easy, convenient, and yummy.